Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Each day I do a quick video set up from one of our signals, from our signals membership. Today I've chosen a potential short trade from our signals membership area. This, the members simply click on this, download uh, the spreadsheet. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet for potential shorts on the 60 minute time frame I've chosen. So here you see these are the results for today, for the 8th of February for the shorts on the 60 minute time frame. There's a hell of a lot more long setting up for the daily time frame, but I've just chosen a short as an example to show it on a, on a smaller time frame. So let's have a look at the chart. Okay, so I've chosen PFF off the 60 minute time frame for the potential shorts for today. It's an ETF. I uh, just wanted to do a little bit of uh, something different rather than just a stock here. Uh, for those that are already members, we're going to set this up. We're looking for the highs around about January the 12th, that sort of thing, to isolate the bar count. And then we've had this big, long uh, wave three down. So let's just zoom in a little bit here. So that's a big impulse leg, bearish leg, to form the wave three low. And then we've had a wave four pullback yesterday. Uh, sorry, the day before. Then yesterday, we have had consolidation resistance at this level. Potentially now then we are looking for a move back down to join the overall bearish trend. So one of the things that I, our signal service do uh, provide with the filters, we get those that are early on. So we get the ones with the 535 oscillator that's pulled back already. The stochastics uh, crossing over in this case because it's a short in the overbought zone. The wave four has pulled back into one of our probability zones and found resistance because we're on a short this time and then has started to move away. So let's have a quick look at the entry strategy for this. We have a 6-4 moving average low here, which is on our indicator suite, Elliott Wave indicator suite for Ninja Trader. I'm using this for this example, but it is available for TradeStation, Think or Swim and Multicharts. So I've gone for the entry outside of the 6.4 moving average low for the first hour's candle position for today and below the whole $37 mark here. So 36.95 entry. We've got a risk to reward from the stop loss, which is just above the wave four high there, uh, all the way down from the uh, to the entry. So that's a 1% risk to a 2% potential reward at the start of our automated target zone here. So our target's around about 36.45 in the middle of that zone there. So good potential short. Futures at the moment a little bit flat, so potentially now, if we do see a bit of a bearish run today, uh, we could get a nice little trade on the 60 minute time frame down to that fifth wave target. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.